this is Pramita here and this is my design team project for junk food stuff. Um, this is once again a very uh, smallish kind of journal I would say. It's not pretty, very small. Let me uh, get my ruler. I can't seem to find that. So, um, just a second. Hi, so I'm back with my ruler and uh, let me tell you the dimensions. It is um, six, just a little bit shy of six and a half by um, six and a half. So it's actually six and a half by six and a half. It's a squarish kind of journal, you can say. Um, it has a lace spine and uh, I have attached... Um, hope I'm in frame. Uh, I have attached a key ring um, sort of thing, key ring tag holder with a bulb pin so you can take it off if you don't like this. Uh, and I have decoupaged a piece of napkin over here and it's sealed so you need not bother about this being getting damaged or anything. And on the cover, this is a fabric that I have and uh, I have been holding this, you know, just waiting for the right project, you can say. So I have used this piece and I wanted this butterfly bell jar sort of thing to come on the cover. So I have aligned it in such a way that this appears on the cover. And this has this vintage rustic uh, kind of look, very darkish. I think it goes pretty well with this kit. And uh, this tied with the sari silk ribbon so I'm going to take this off this is absolutely removable you can if you don't like this you can take off and use something else uh, here is a, this is a tin holes book plate that I've used and I've used the word tranquil these words come in a, these are also from junk fit Steph, uh, shop so I'll post a link to these words below along with all the things that I've used from her shop uh, I'll also post a link to her shop as well as the kit I've used as well as these words um, and some definitions also she has that I've used I don't know if they are still available in her shop because she was planning to retire them off and she was giving a huge sale you just go and check her shop because she's still having a sale I guess so please please go and check her shop so um, what I like about Stephanie's kits is that uh, they allow you to take steps you know outside your comfort zone and that's what I do generally um, so <laughs> I don't know if it works but I love this okay so here I have a layered cluster sort of thing and I have attached this on um, this book plate on this and this says tranquil so as we open this up this is lined with burlap this is lined with burlap and inside you can see this is actually a tool piece and there are embroidered flowers on top of this tool. This this fabric I just have a little bit left. I love this fabric and it was pretty, um, you know, I didn't have much. I didn't buy much of this because it was pretty expensive <laughs> as you can see. And these are all hand stitched. And... Um, here are two journaling cards. Now the journaling cards, I have collaged on them. These cards come in the kit, but without these collage elements, I have added some uh, extra dimension, you can say, to these. Um, some of the cards I've done like that, and some are like you get. So that's what I like, because it gives you ample scope to use them in any way you like. You can uh, collage on them, you can keep them bare, it doesn't matter. So it works best for me. So here is the opening page and here is actually a flip. Let me put away the ruler. Um, here is actually a flip pocket sort of thing. Uh, so I, you, I had done the, these kind of things way before and I keep on bringing those things back sometimes with a little bit of modifications here and there. So this is actually the front page. Here is a washi strip that I've used. Um, here are lots of things that I've done. I've done a little bit of number, collage, you can say. This is actually a pocket. You have some journaling spot. Um, this is from a pattern paper. So is this. This is from Prima and this I think is from 
not Kane Company. This is from. I can't remember. I'll, I'll uh, if I remember, I'll just let you people know. So that's that, and this opens up. This is actually an envelope that I've altered, sort of thing. So you have a journaling spot inside over here, and you can put this journal card. So you can put this journal card here. Okay, here is another pocket. I hope again I'm in frame. Here is a pocket, and this is another envelope piece that I've used, and here is another tiny tag. I've used some washi stickers over here, so some pocket, and as you turn this over, there is another pocket. So this is another pocket. I've done again some washi stickers, collage sort of thing. This is actually a journal pocket tag. I have not put anything inside. Uh, you can put something inside if you want to hide something. This is actually a vellum piece of vellum that I've lined the back with, and I've cut out a whole uh, circle sort of thing where I've put in a washi sticker, and then this is some washi collage, some stenciling that I've done, and I'm going to put that on this pocket. Here is another pocket. There it goes in. So this is the pocket cluster you can see. Then you turn this over and here is your journal. So this is a page from the kit. Of course I've trimmed the page down to suit my size. This is a vintage book page. I've done some stenciling, some pocket Okay, some tag. Here I've not done anything on the tag because the pocket already has a little bit of collage. So, again, some page from the kit. Here I've done some washi collage sort of thing, you can say, with some wildflowers stickers that I had in my stash. This is an envelope that come in the kit. And this flips up. You have a journal card, double journal card inside with a little bit of string tied so you know that there's this and this is actually this closes up and then when you flip the page I've used the cover as a tuck spot and there is a journal card over here and I've used some washi just to add some interest here is another page from that vintage book that I have um, this is a tag. This is from a paper of Kane Company. I had this portion and I wanted to use this because I thought these colors went so well with the bird theme. Uh, again, some washi that I've used on pages. Not much, just to give a little bit of pop. Again, a page from the kit. This is a tuck spot and this is actually an altered envelope. I had shown this was this on you know as a part of uh, what's on my desk uh, so this is actually a pocket so you get two of these that go in here is a pocket and at the back there's another pocket so some are, this these are from the kit but this is from a prima paper pack that I had I have tried to go with the color as well as the floral theme like this one this is also from a prima paper pack I had this and I was not using this so I thought I would use it here and at the back you can see there's I have made another pocket and I've added two journal cards as extras these words come in the kit you know the add-on kit I've made uh, some clusters lace snippets clusters as you can see and I've used them as page tabs Okay, so this is the back of that page. Here I have a pocket. Again, at the pocket I've used some washi and some ephemera that goes into that pocket. So this is a postcard that I have from, I think this is from um, the New York Botanical Garden. Um, and this is a tag from the kit. 
I remember this was a uh, decoupage that we had done on the music page. And uh, just to give it a definition, I've stitched around the page so that it looks a little bit finished. And I'm so happy that it looks so nice. So here is the decoupage napkin and this is from Andrea's, um, one of Andrea's kits. And this is a stamp, acrylic stamp that I have and I've stamped on a piece of scrap paper. So at the back again you can see I've used Tim Holtz tissue paper, some napkin, again a label sort of thing. And I've stenciled on the rest of the areas. This is again some washi that I have and I've stenciled on the rest of the page. Uh, at the back of this page again there is this flip um, these are altered envelopes again so here is a journal card double journal card that I've used so you can write over here and this goes in and here again remember we had done the decoupage on this envelope what I've done is I've just added some butterflies some label stamp numbers and I've just jazzed it it up, stitched around it and at the back I have added a little bit of a tuck spot sort of thing with the clusters that I do with scraps and that holds a little bit of a journal card I hope you can see it so there's the journal card that goes in and on the other side of the page again I've added a pocket and this is from Tim Holtz. Uh, I think he had come up with some um, tags or uh, journal card set. I have one of those and I've used, I've been holding these, you know. But I thought the colors went so well with the kit. I just couldn't resist. I had to use them. So that was that. And this is actually a belly band sort of thing, Saita. This is just a tiny card that I have over here, I have put in. And here is some washi sticker that I've used. Let me close this. Um, on the other side of the page, I have this beautiful butterfly image from one of the pages. And I've used it, uh, sorry, not butterfly, bird image. And I had to use this. And I was holding this, but then I decided to make it into a pocket because I wanted more focus on this. So, and again, one of those Tim Holtz tag journal cards lots of flips and interactive elements just as I like again some washi strips that I've used um, some washi collage here I've done and some label from Tracy Fox um, here again I have a simple journaling card that you can journal on to uh, this is from my stash some paper pack that I had uh, again some washi stickers Uh, here, this is the midi of the journal, and this is a page from Edith Holden. This just folds up. I have not uh, cut these off because I thought that, uh, you know, you'll get a full view of the image. Uh, I like this system, you can say. And uh, here is the tag that I had added as a page, long tag. Um, and I've done some collage with music paper and this is the name of the kit I usually try to incorporate the name of the kit uh, if it's uh, if it's in the printable sheet I try to keep it and um, use it somewhere in the journal that's a kind of fetish I have you can say so if I find the name somewhere I'll just keep it and I'll try to incorporate that in one of my collages or maybe name the journal or something or the other I, I have this weird thing I don't know why. So this is the name of the kit. It's called Vintage Garden. And I've done some washi sticker collage. Uh, I need to get some more supplies of washi stickers. So again some collage. And here is a playing card sort of uh, journal card that she does. Stephanie. Okay, I'll put this later on. Here again I've done some stenciling some splat splotches you can see uh, a page from the kit this is a tag tuck spot I have done quite a lot of different pockets in this journal uh, this is actually a tag with a tab tied over here 
I have punched a hole and I've tied some string. Lots of tiny details you can see uh, I've tried to uh, put in, but let's see what happens. So by the time you see this, it's going to be listed in my shop. Uh, along with a few more restock because um, thank you so much guys um, I am currently jobless frankly speaking this is my job so if I earn something well and good uh, because uh, otherwise it becomes difficult in these times because uh, I am not um, I'm not uh, very keen on doing anything outside my home right now uh, so this keeps me grounded in my home. That's one of the big plus. And um, let's see how things go. So again, one of those altered envelopes, a tag from Stephanie's kit that goes in. And when you turn this over, okay, and I hope you can see it. When you turn this over, you again have a big, big pocket. Um some collage that I have done and this is again one of the Tim Holtz tags it says the story begins and again the name of the kit as I said I have a weird fetish um, so this is a tag that goes in tag here is an image that I had in the kit as small ephemera things and this is a tiny tiny stamped image that I thought would go nicely so I was interrupted by a phone call. So anyway, so this is, uh, you know, the stitched pocket slots die, uh, photo booth die, what, it, what it, I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, it's from Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix die. And I've uh, cut this out, this pocket, and uh, I have added a lot of bits and pieces, as you can see. And this is a word that came in the kit, add-on kit, you know. I'll put a link to all of those things that I've used uh, below in the description box so kindly check that um, and this is the other altered envelope that I had done um, I've used some word from Edith Holden book page then I've done the you know the double decoupage I've decoupaged a book page and then some napkin and again I've added some butterflies these are from on my stash and on the back page um, here is again some washi that I've used I have this wonderful washi that I was not using so I thought I'd use it in this journal uh, because it went so well with these uh, this is again one of those decoupage pages that I have done uh, some napkin and here is a little bit of a cluster I think this goes well with the black blackish dark butterfly uh, and then this is the back page Um, so here is the book page, this napkin, and this is a different napkin, so I've uh, just used bits and pieces uh, to get this effect, and it's not very difficult, as you have seen in my decoupage process. So this is a tag from the kit, again some Tim Holtz tag over here, and some pocket. This is a page from the kit. Again, I've used some washi. These are from Prima um, washi. And this is the other side of the altered envelope. Uh, remember this one, this page, and this is the other side of the page. This is a pretty chunky journal, and um, it turned out pretty well. So this is a journal card that I've collaged on. It goes in here. This is. Uh, the dictionary phrases that uh, Stephanie is, was supposed to retire I don't know if she still has them uh, I'll check and if I get them I'm going to put a link to those below this is the back of the altered envelope here I have used made a pocket uh, I've used all the journal cards and tags that came in the kit as well as some scraps that I've stitched uh, and made into tags like this one uh, again some washi bits and pieces page from the kit again some little bit of collage washi bits vintage book page some washi sticker that I had and this is a half page some botanical book that I have this is very interesting um, 
this is something I had seen Tina do. Uh, Tina from Shabi Dabi Duda. Uh, she had kept them uh, as, you know, like you can keep them clipped uh, on the page. You can make them as journaling envelopes. But I have turned this into an ephemera holder plus a journaling uh, spot. So this is actually a page from the kit which I have turned into an ephemera holder sort of thing. So it opens up. You get some coin envelope with journaling. This is a library puppet sort of thing. So you get a journal card inside. That goes in. Okay, and a tiny journal card that goes in too and then you can journal over here and this closes up and this gets tucked in and at the back I have not glued the entire thing so at the back there is this tag there's this tuck spot pocket sort of thing you can put something in or hide something in I would rather say uh, this is just a circle that I've cut and used as a, you know, closure. This is the back. Uh, this is the page that I have used. Some washi stickers and this is the cluster that we had worked. And again at the back there are some more journal cards that I have collaged with washi stickers. These go in. Okay, and that's the end. So this is the journal um, for my design team, and this is the you know the tag that is pretty lovely. And this is a Tim Holtz tie actually, and I just layered this up. So this is my design team project for uh, Junk with Steph and I'm going to post all the links below and of course by the time you see this it's going to be listed. So thank you everybody for being with me. Have a great day.